Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today, if I can speak. Um, I've, I'm going to do a general read, and I'll do a your person read uh, today. If there's something else you'd like me to read on, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions, uh, but I feel like I want to start with a smudge here. Uh, brand new smudge. Brand new smudge here. I feel like there's there's new energy that wants to come in. So a good way to start is with fresh energy. Clear out the old and it gives us space to um, add the new. Like clearing out the old gives us room to Invite in the new is what I'm getting. All right, let us, let's see, let's start with, I'm going to pull a Lemurian Oracle message, and we'll read that in closing. I'm going to do that first, actually, because sometimes, uh, you know, I start pulling cards, and the message starts coming through, and I forget to pull the, the uh, oracles. So let's see. All right, we'll put that there. We'll see what message we want to come through here. We'll start with our general message. What do we need to know here? Uh, King of Cups. Two of Sword. Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Ten of Sword. Interesting that I was getting, like, clear out the old. So there's definitely closure here with the tens, ten of wands, ten of swords, some sort of um, weight on your shoulders is being lifted. Um, and it may feel uncomfortable at the moment, uh, but it's it's meant to be. Eight of pentacle. Five of wands. Yeah, there's some sort of necessary change coming in here. Seven of pentacles. Uh, and it's something that's been on your mind or on this person's mind. It's a general read. Uh, something's been weighing very heavily on someone's mind here. Uh, a decision, a direction, where to focus, what changes to make, where have I been, where am I now, and where am I going? All right. Uh, I mean, that was a very clear message here. Uh, something, this person here is seeking, again, whether this is you, your person, someone you know, um, if this is your reading, you'll, you'll understand, uh, this energy. This King of Cups is desiring, like, emotional fulfillment, you know, a peace of mind, um, feeling like they're heading in the right direction. Their goals are aligned with their soul purpose, uh, where they want to go here. Let's um let's bring in the clarifiers here. Uh, the wizard's pet deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. I do love this deck. Uh, let's see. Ten of sword. I was definitely getting like before I even pulled cards. It was like all right, let's like smudge the area. We've got to uh, clear clear out the old uh, before we can allow in the new but but we have to kind of sift and sort you know like what what lessons have we completed what have we learned um what's next for us uh ten of sword oh look another ten ten of wands look how this is you know the there's a beginning and an end here it's ten of swords is is at the end of this reading ten of, or this is not ten of sword on the ten of sword we have ten of wands ten of wands ten of wands so it's something like you know, the beginning and the end uh, is lining up here. Let's pull another on that. Ten of, yeah, three of pentacles. Like, you know, I always say I don't read reversals. But the way that's coming in here, it's like, okay, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is like teamwork, collaboration, connecting with people who have the same goals, who are like-minded, who want the same things. Maybe, maybe this person, you or this person, or whoever this is resonating with, um, has connected with people or maybe outgrown some people. They've, they've outgrown 
their um, teammates or maybe there are some people on the team that aren't putting the effort in. You know, Eight of Pentacles can be like putting in the effort, working together. I love how these, there's these two hands. I feel like these two hands belong to two separate people. Like, okay, let's work together here. Let, you know, and even this card, it's got the two, you know, these are all, you know, five different hands. This is like, okay, everyone has their piece uh, to weave this um, collaboration together here, working together here. Uh, you know, who's, we have to figure out, you know, first and foremost, okay, what are our new goals? Because we've completed something. So we're going to have to leave some, some energies behind, energies that no longer resonate with uh, the place we want to go, the, the, um, what we want to create, what our goals are. Because I feel like we've completed a certain cycle uh, and, and sometimes when we stay where we've already, where we need to leave, like there's, it's a weight, like this 10 of wands. We had 10 of wands already duplicating. First card out, we're already duplicating. And it's saying, you know, and I was feeling that like in the beginning before I even pulled cards. All right, there's some things that we need to cleanse and clear, smudge out. And we've got to figure out like, who that is, what that is, you know, is it an environment? Is it certain people uh, that drain your energy? Is there there's some sort of um, clearing? Like who, what, where are we clearing in order to open up new space to achieve new goals? Like there's some people on this in this collaboration that don't fit in the mix anymore, and those. People, places, things, jobs, whatever it may be, must go at this time so we can focus on this change and releasing the old. Yeah, because there's some people, places, things that no longer belong, certain energies, maybe certain people with certain energies, like the, the energy drain. Like, you know, you can have, okay, let's say you've got some people, let's say you've got three people on the team that are like gung-ho. Yeah, let's, um, let's, uh, let's do this. And then you got one person going, nah, nah, you guys are all crazy. We're into, you know, and it like drags down the rest of the team. You could have three members of the team, like gung-ho, ready to go. And then, you know, what that other person or, or even the environment, if it's not the right place, it like draw, drags you, dr one person, place, or thing can drag down the whole team. And it's time to Figure out like what what that is, what needs to be cleared, cleansed, released, so we can make positive change and focus on a direction and work together, build together. It's like, okay, this is all, you know, stacked up. This kind of, this Eight of Pentacles, you know, is reminding me of like Jenga or something, but we're adding to it. But look at how this is all balanced here, even though there's, you know, one thing here, but I feel like also with this Ten of Wands and the way this Eight of Pentacles is set up, it's like someone on the team is bearing all the weight here. And it's like this one, this one here, you got to be very careful of how you um, build your tower, or how you structure your tower, you know, how, you know, certain things need to be removed, but we got to keep standing here. So I'm feeling like there's somebody that's like, um, the support beam here but the support beam needs its own support so if someone is not supportive or an environment feels like it drains your energy a job uh time to release it as challenging as that may be uh it's time for some things to be uh, remove so we can refocus re-energize open up space for the new here Two of Pentacles, yeah, and that brings in more balance. Like this, this, um, this team, this collaboration, this goal, this achievement, this vision you have um, needs to be balanced. Everyone needs to put in uh, the same amount of effort. It needs to be balanced because if one person on the team is doing all the work. Uh, they get drained very quickly. Or if one person is negative and the rest are positive, um, it still affects the team. So, you know, protect your energy, know what you want, uh, and, and work with people who uh, 
align with your vision is what I'm getting. Eight of sword. Otherwise, nothing moves. And we're like, we're like, okay, now what? Like, how do we move forward when everyone is on a different page? So there's got to be some sort of um, uh, a reflection of, okay, what 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 have we achieved? What are the goals we've already achieved? What have we learned from the past? Uh, always live in the moment because we're only we're not guaranteed. Yesterday is gone. No one is guaranteed tomorrow. Um, you know, if we open our eyes in the morning and wake up, that's a blessing. Like, OK, we've been given another day. How do we paint our day? Uh, what do we want to include in our day? Uh, what what's uplifting? Uh, what's draining? Focus on what's uplifting um, and what you want more of. How, what do you see in your future? This is like, okay, the past is gone. The moment is here. Um, it's okay to look at the future. Don't worry about the future because the future takes care of itself. You know, the future is really only the now moving into the next now. You know, so to be, if you're in your moment you're always okay. If you're looking back at what happened yesterday, that can be draining. If you're worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, that can be draining. This card is just saying, stay centered and let the, you know, this is much more, um, this setup is much more stable here and it's allowing growth here. Like just, there's more support here. So just stay, yeah, boom. Anything that, uh, with the tower here, anything that's not, doesn't fit in the in the structure or doesn't um, add support to the goal or the the what the vision must be removed here so there's there's going to be some reflection on okay what stays what goes here and then you can have that emotional fulfillment here page of cups yeah like there's you know what's what's um, good for the team uh, can stay or, or who, who has the vision here, who, um, whose ideas line up with that, you know, and it, there's growth here, page of cups. I feel like this is full cycle for a full circle here. We had those tens. I was feeling that in the beginning, page of cups all the way to the king of cups. Like there's a, there's something here, uh, an idea that, you know, and the idea is the spark of what can be manifested here. And I feel like it's very much emotional fulfillment, like feeling like a sense of well-being. And I feel like the decisions that are being made here and now are going to lead us to great change here. Yeah, three of wands, two of sword, three of wands. Yes, we can look forward to the future. Don't fear the, don't fear the future. Just head towards that emotional fulfillment. You know, eight of cups for me is like walking towards that ninth cup and this is what's what the the goal here I feel is to uh feel that emotional fulfillment and when you're in when you're online with your your goals and you're connecting with people places and things that are um collaborating with you it's easier to find the pathway forward yeah this devil energy some things people places need to be walked away from because they just weigh the team down and if the if there's you know the team is weighed down then you get to a stuck point where you feel like where are we going here where am i going time to release that yeah it is king of sword king of sword is very decisive knows how to make decisions he's got that sword one swoop of the sword can clear the way clear out people places things ideas that do not fit into the picture same with that tower it's like okay it's time to reflect like who stays who goes what stays what goes and it could be environments too maybe the 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 um place you're in is is draining you know sometimes you walk into a place and it's like oh it feels a little heavy in here you know and again get that smudge stick out smudge around here uh bottom of the stick we got for a sword Bottom of this deck, we got Queen of Sword. Yeah, making clear decisions, eliminating people, places, and things that uh, disrupt the, um, the the team or the goal. Uh, and this Four of Swords, it's like, okay, being at peace. Sometimes the Four of Swords is like rest after the battle. And I feel like there's... Um, 
there's a vision here, there's a goal here, there's a new fresh beginning here with new ideas that want to come to fruition here and we're in the process of this. But you know, there's a reflecting stage of okay, what how do we proceed here? How do we connect with people, places and things that are in lined aligned with our goals and also the removal of people, places, things that try to interfere in the forward movement of this new beginning. Um, you may even be getting ideas in your dreams. You know, when you're in resting, sometimes when we're rested and still, we get that aha moment like, oh, okay, now I see. I have, okay, I have the vision. I have the vision um, of how to accomplish this. Uh, and, and, you will you will be provided with the spiritual assistance also you know the the intuitive guidance the you know the the subtleties of you know who and what has your best interest in mind all right let us close with our lemurian oracle message we have awakened awareness there are many levels of awakening Keep learning and putting yourself into situations where you can grow. Stay aligned with your inner guidance and do what you love to keep your vibe high. Seek not instant pleasure, but substantial and sustainable joy. Eat healthy, keep your body active, and have life goals, but with enough space to hear the answers to your prayers. Find your unique way to connect to the divine inside you. Not as an external seeking, but as a receptive allowing. Be inspired to see the question at hand with a different perspective. Look between the lines for a deeper interpretation. Peace be with you. Bye now.